boundaries are something I, I talk about boundaries all the time with clients because it is a thing that shows up in my office all the time is uh, when people are drained because of the people pleasing because we've been trained to mm -hmm. say yes mm. but you know our yes over here is also a no to something else mm -hmm. and so we have to be really particular about where we put our yeses and so uh, as a writer as an author I really have decided that there's certain days of the week that I write but not everybody sees writing as something that I should take a day off of for mm. right okay. and so I have to put a boundary around that um, I have a bedtime at 10 p.m. I go to bed so if I have company over <laughs> unless you've been <laughs> oh you're one of those it's <laughs> like good night yeah. you can stay I know. <laughs> Sorry, Mel. So I, you know, 10 p.m. is my bedtime. I need my sleep, and so people know that about me. You know, there's certain things around social media. How much time I spend on social media? It's a, it's a, it's a vortex. How fast I respond to texts. I've often thought, you know, people would they send you a text and there's an expectation around response, but they're not going to show up at your door and be knocking on your door all yeah, the time true. expecting a response. Right. Yeah. So you have to have boundaries around that. So I have decided that there are certain things, I'm not quick on the response with text, I apologize in advance. <laughs> um, my bedtime's 10 p.m. And this is just, these are the boundaries that I've put in place to keep myself well. Mm. And people wow. close to me know that to be true. And that has been a huge relief for me once those boundaries are in place. <laughs>